Hey, Bob Gerace here with another chapter from the book of Bob. So today's another girl code translation. And the translation today is what does it mean when my wife says, I need space? Well, I'll tell you what, you go back about a decade and a half, a little more than that now, and my wife said that to me. And so I asked her, what does it mean? What do you mean? Does that mean don't talk to you? Does that mean stay on my side of the house? And she said, no, what I need space means is stop begging me to love a weak man. Oh my gosh, brothers, if you think about that and you let that just sink in, this is like so much of the problem that is going on in so many marriages. It's weak men. You have got to find out, figure out, find that strength inside of you and stop being weak for your wife. Now, what does that look like? Well, I want you to consider for a moment that when God said in Genesis that he was going to make Adam, Adam in the Hebrew, meaning humans, not just the man, and he's talking about making man, and he's talking about making woman, and he says we're going to make them in our image. Who is the our in that image? The our is the Trinity. It's the Father, it's the Son, and it's the Holy Spirit. And then when God brings man together in marriage, that Trinity is modeled. And so what does that mean or what does that look like? Well, what it looks like is that God the Father is at the head of the marriage. And then we as men are to model Christ inside that marriage. Who does that leave for our wife? It's the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit is a comforter. The Holy Spirit is a convictor. So here's the thing, man. When you are doing right, your wife is comforting you. And when you are doing wrong, she is convicting you. Elevate your thinking to this is not a worldly problem. This is a spiritual problem. When you are not spiritually right, when you are not on the path of sanctification the way that God designed for you, your wife as the Holy Spirit representative inside the marriage is going to convict you of that. Now, are you strong enough as a man to be able to own that and fix it? Or are you weak? Are you a mama's boy? Or do you turn into some kind of monster which is equally weak and cowardice and try to turn it around on her and blame her and yell at her and use bass in your voice and pump up your shoulders and stiffen your jaw? All of those things are weak. You know what the strong thing is, man? The strong thing is to be a man and to admit it and to own it when you have been called out of being outside the will of God and not treating her the way that the Bible says, Ephesians 5, 25. That's the strong man. And the strong men who get inside any kind of a Christian brotherhood and they learn this and they put it into practice, those are the guys who go on to be happily married. And the weak men, they want to blame, shame, defend, deflect, and make excuses. And those are the guys who get divorced. If you want to know more about this, like, follow, and subscribe, because I've got hundreds more chapters from the book of Bob.